Special Bookworms. Today I'm doing a video that I have been so excited to film ever since I first thought about it. The Beauty and the Beast live action movie is coming out very soon. Like we're in the month that is coming out. So I like I just cannot wait. So ever since all of the um, trailers and stuff have been premiering, I've obviously been getting more and more excited for it. And I was like, you know what? It would be so fun to film a collection video of all of the Beauty and the Beast things that I have because I freaking love Beauty and the Beast, so I've got a ton of it. So I really wanted to do that. And then it was like kismet that Disney Books reached out to me um, last week and asked if I wanted to have a giveaway um, for the new book that's coming out by Jennifer Donnelly, which is called Beauty and the Beast Lost in a Book. Normally anytime that people, that companies ask me if I want to do giveaways, I always say yes because I think it's so great to be able to offer free books and stuff to you guys, but I never expected a giveaway of this magnitude. Like, I'm so excited to be able to bring this one to you. So not only am I going to be giving away this book, but Disney is also going to be giving one lucky person 20 books. <laughs> they want to give somebody a library that is worthy of Belle herself, which I just thought was so amazing. Um, I actually said yes to hosting this giveaway before I even realized that it was for 20 books. I thought it was just for the one book. And then I was like, holy cow, like, <laughs> that's amazing. Included in the giveaway will be this book, um, which is coming out and it ties into the Beauty and the Beast live action movie. Um, and then there's also going to be a couple of other books, which I'll show because I also have those. And then a bunch of other Disney books like the Percy Jackson series, the Isle of the Lost series, and the Kingdom Keeper series. So I'll leave a link down below to my blog post, which will have the raffle copter. And I think you know the deal by now. You just enter through there. Um, and good luck. And now I will get into my collection, starting with the Beauty and the Beast books that I own. So the first one that I have to show, obviously, is this book, which is Lost in a Book, an Enchanted Original Story by Jennifer Donnelly, which again, I said, ties into the whole new live action Beauty and the Beast film that's coming out. Next is this book, which will also be included in the giveaway, and that is Belle's Library. It's a collection of literary quotes and inspirational musings, um, and this book is just so cute. Like, it's full of illustrations. Like, there's Belle's book list. And then these are all like books that Belle has read. And then as you keep going, like there's just illustrations, there's quotes, like this is just a really beautiful, really adorable book. And it's perfect for Belle because she's such a reader. So I'm sure that she like very much appreciates an entire book devoted to her library and her love of reading. And also included, which is probably one of the most exciting books, is Tales Old as Time, which was in my last book haul. This is actually um, The Art and Making of Beauty and the Beast. Um, and it has stories all about the making of the animated film as well as the new live action film. This is a gorgeous book. <laughs> then I also have Beauty and the Beast and Other Classic Tales, and this is the Barnes & Noble um, collectible edition of Beauty and the Beast. This is available at Barnes & Noble. I was really excited when this one came out because it's super pretty, and I really liked that it's pink because most of the time they usually do yellow to like tie into Belle's dress, but they did pink, so I enjoyed this one a lot. Then I also have the new Minalima book of Beauty and the Beast. This was also in my last book haul, and this one is extremely interactive. It is such a beautiful edition, um, and again, I really like that they did, um, like, the red color instead of that yellow. It's really, like, all of the art in it is so gorgeous. For those who don't know, Minalima does all of the um, Harry Potter, like, graphic design stuff, so they're just overall phenomenal company and I'm so excited for them to do more of these. I have the Peter Pan one too and I'm really hoping that they'll do like another book that I love a lot for the next one in the series. And then finally I have this illustrated version of Beauty and the Beast which is illustrated by Sarah Gibb and I just think that the illustrations in this one are so gorgeous. They're so like um like fairy tale-esque and just so like pretty. They definitely do give like an air of like Frenchness and exactly what you would expect from Beauty and the Beast. I just think this one is like done really well. Then I'm going to move into all of the Beauty and the Beast figures that I have to show you. I'm first going to start with this beautiful Belle figure. Um, this is a Couture de Force statue and this one is part of the Mask series. I actually don't have the original Belle but I'm probably going to get her at some point. Um, but I got this one because 
The mask also like reminded me of A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I just really love the way that her dress is decorated. I love that they like lined it with these roses. Um, and then there's like the, the stems and like leaves coming down like the creases in her dress. And then she's also wearing this gorgeous little rose bracelet, which I hope that you can see just to like give you a 360 view of her. I'll spin her around. Um, so you get like her bun and then in the back she has this beautiful bow going down the back of her dress. Um, so she's really just like, and she has these little pearl earrings, like she's just so well done. And then I could not get Belle without getting the Beast. Um, I love that he is in his prince form and he's holding a beast mask. That was partially why I wanted him. I just thought, like I never saw anything like this. I just felt like this was so well done um, and so unique. Um, just the outfit down to the details is so beautiful. It's so perfect. Um, I love his little boots. He even has like stripes going down the sides of his riding pants. Um, and I'm going to do the same like 360 spin here, but look, like he has his tail coat on and even has like the buttons in the back. I just think that these figures are so detailed and so beautiful. Um, and again, they are couture de force uh, Disney statues. So if you want to look them up, that is the best way to search them. This is not a figure, but I'm going to hold it up in this section. Um, and that is this Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose. This I got at uh, Disney World. I think you can get it online too at the Disney store because I actually, this is actually not the first one that I have. This is the second one because when I moved, I was setting up my bookshelves and I didn't have enough books on my shelf. And one of them flopped over and knocked this off of my shelf and the whole thing shattered. Um, and then that led to lots of jokes about how I am not allowed to go in the West Wing or touch this rose. So I was really glad when Disney restocked and I was able to get another one because this has been one of my favorite things in my Beauty and the Beast collection since I got it. Like it's, it's honestly just, it's so pretty and it's one of my favorite things. Then on my honeymoon with Andrew, I picked up this little life-size Lumiere figure statue thing. I'm not sure like what it's classified as, but um, you can put batteries in him and his flames actually light up. Um, but I just always wanted him. I think that he's so beautiful. And if I ever do like a Belle cosplay of any sort, I'm totally walking around with him. Lumiere is my favorite character in Beauty and the Beast. Um, I just love him so much. So I had to have this. <laughs> And then again, I could not get Lumiere without getting Cogsworth. Um, and this Cogsworth is actually a working clock. Um, I never put the batteries in him to make him work just because I just enjoy him as a decoration and I'm not really relying on him to tell me the time. But he, again, is just so beautifully crafted and he actually opens and you can move um, his little thing inside. I don't even know what that's called. Oh. Got close quick. <laughs> he doesn't want me in there. This again is just another beautiful collectible and I, I don't think I got this one at Disney. I'm pretty sure that I ordered this one off of Amazon because Lumiere was feeling lonely. The next thing that I have to show you is something that I get very mixed opinions about because some people think it's really creepy, Andrew. Other people, me, think it's adorable. Um, and that is this Belle doll. This is from the animators line. Um, this I got at the Disney store in New York City in Times Square. And I just think that she's so pretty. And I really enjoy like chibi versions of characters and stuff, which have like the like fatter faces and bigger eyes. And this reminded me of that. Um, so I really wanted her. I think she's cute. And I don't think that she comes alive at night and kills people. So next I'm gonna get into the Funko figures that I have and I'm gonna drop them, apparently. So the first uh, Beauty and the Beast Funko figure that I ever got um, was this version of Belle here. Um, she's in her blue and white outfit, which is actually why I wore a blue and white outfit because I was trying to channel some kind of Belle outfit. Um, and she's, again, she's super cute and she has a little bow in the back of her hair, which I really like. She has her little basket. Then I also got Belle in her iconic yellow dress and she's wearing hipster glasses, which I just thought was so cute. Um, this was a Hot Topic exclusive, I believe. Um, so I got this one like a really long time ago when it came out. She's always been one of my favorites. Then I have the Beast um, because obviously need the Beast. He's cute. He's in his dark blue jacket, that classic classic outfit again. Then I have my favorite, Lumiere. Um, Andrew got me this for my first birthday that we ever celebrated together and I love him dearly. And actually that same birthday my cousin Rachel got me Mrs. Potts and she came along with this little chip and they're both 
it's so cute. I actually never got the Cogsworth um, Funko, come to think of it, so my collection's a little bit incomplete there. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next set of Funkos. Then the next Belle Funko to come out, and the next one that I got, um, was this little, like, dancing version of Belle in her yellow dress. While she is similar to the other one, she's not wearing the glasses, and I just really like the way that she's, like, holding up the dress and it looks like she's dancing, um, so that's how I justified this one. Then I've got another favorite one of my characters in Beauty and the Beast, and that is Gaston. Um, I just think that he's really ridiculous and funny, um, and I, it's fun to, like, joke about how he's the hero of the story, um, so that's why I really like Gaston, but he's, again, really cute, and I'm glad that they ended up making a Funko of him, like, so much later than they did of the other ones. And then also at the same time that Gaston came out, these wintry versions of Belle and the Beast came out. This is obviously the outfit that um, she wears over Christmas time in the snow when they're outside together and the Beast is finally like warming up and he's playing with the birds and it's just such a nice moment. Then I have the newest Beauty and the Beast collection of Funkos and those are the ones that came out for the live action film that's coming out. Um, so the first one that I have here is Belle in her yellow dress holding the rose and again like she's just so pretty I love that she's holding the rose um, and then I also really like the way that her hair is done she has like um, gold leaves holding her bun in which is different um, and then she has this little like like a train or something coming down in the back of her dress and She's just so Emma Watson and so beautiful. And then in the same dress, I also got uh, Belle, and this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive version, and in this one she's holding Lumiere, so obviously favorite character, had to get that. Then I have the Lumiere figure, um, which in all honesty, Lumiere seems a little bit creepy in the live action, but I'm still excited to see it, and I'm excited to see like how he's portrayed in it because I think that it's going to be good like once he's in motion but he's really cute and he also has a bow on the back of his head and there's so much detail in his jacket um, and it's just like a lot more than I feel like ever goes into Funkos so I think he was really well done and then speaking of ones that are really well done this Cogsworth is gorgeous um this one I had to get like I I wasn't expecting to love Cogsworth as much as I do, but his new design is probably one of my favorites in the new film. He just looks amazing and he's so detailed and so pretty. He's got a little door going on on the back there. He just looks really good. Then I have the Beast. Um, I ended up not getting the flocked version of him, which is from Hot Topic. Um, I just got like the plain regular one and I think I'm just gonna stick with this one and only Beast, but I love his blousey bow um, and then also in the back he has tail coming out and I like the new interpretation of his jacket I feel like it's very um, elegant and I really think that this one was well done as well and then the last of the Funkos I have here Mrs. Potts and Chip and again I think that these are just really elegant interpretations of the original characters and I think that they're really really beautiful I'm just so excited for this film it's like definitely the film that I am most anticipating of the year because like I can just feel that it's gonna be good like the way that I knew that I was gonna love Frozen like I know that I'm gonna love this I just I just know it then I will show you some of my Beauty and the Beast plushies here I have Cogsworth he is really really cute I know I showed this off in like Disney haul video a while ago so I won't go into too much detail but one of the things that I really like about him a lot is that back here he has this little keyhole um, and I just felt like that was such like a nice little added detail then I've got Lumiere Mrs. Potts and the Beast. Um, I don't really like um, plush versions of humans. I feel like those never look very good, so I tend not to really get those, but um, I think the Beast looks amazing. Then I have some Tsum Tsums. Um, so I have the Beast Tsum Tsum. He, again, is really cute. That's his, like, little aerial view. Then I've got Belle, who, again, I feel like humans never look great as plushes, but I felt like I had to get her since I have so many of the other ones in the series. Although Gaston is done like perfectly because look at that facial expression. Um, I just think they totally like captured his Gaston-ness. Um, and then that's his like aerial view and they even have like the yellow there. So they did a good job on this one. Then I have Lumiere who looks a little bit weird, but again, favorite character. So, so it goes. And then finally I have Cogsworth. Um, and again, he has that little key detail on the top, but then on the bottom he has the whole like clock thing going on. Um, so again, I feel like they did a really good job with this one too. Then obviously I have the movies. So I have 
the 25th anniversary edition Blu-ray of Beauty and the Beast, which I actually watched about a week ago with Andrew. Um, and it was really nice to just like revisit the original, um, just again, because I've been so excited for the live action. So I was like, we need to watch this before we go to see that one. So I feel totally refreshed and like ready. And then I also have the Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas special because I love this. I love Christmas. I love Beauty and the Beast. So this was like a no-brainer purchase for me and I'm really glad that they re-released it recently. Then mugs. I have this chip mug that I got from Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Um, I think I also got this one on my honeymoon. I just really love him. He's super cute and I've never ever had tea in this cup because I'm so scared of ever ruining it. So he just sits on my bookshelf as an accessory. He is like a decorative mug. He will never be a mug to be used. <laughs> and then I also have this Enchanted Rose mug. This is one that showed up on the DisneyStore.com shop like a couple months ago and I just thought that it was really pretty and understated. Um, it is like clearly Beauty and the Beast but it's not like in your face like characters all over it. I like how they just kind of spotlighted the rose and like it gives you the feeling of like the stained glass with the different kinds of pinks. Um, so I just thought that was really pretty. Then some clothing. I actually only have two things of Beauty and the Beast clothing, which I thought was kind of surprising. But the first one, which I have worn in a video before, is this Beauty and the Beast stained glass dress. Um, and this is by Black Milk Clothing. Um, covering my face completely. But it's really, really pretty. I love that it has Belle and the Beast like dancing in there. I think this was really, really well made and really well done. And I was so excited when they did that Disney collection because this was the first thing on my list. And I wore it while I was at Disney, um, as well as many other times, just because I love it. I think that there's also like knockoffs of it on Amazon for like 10 to $15. So that's obviously no longer available, but I think the knockoffs are. So if you want to get one, that is a cheaper option. And then this, is not just Beauty and the Beast, but Belle is on it. So I decided to show it. Um, and it is this On Wednesdays We Wear Pink shirt. So it's like a Mean Girls Disney mashup tee. So I just think that it's so cute. And Belle is hanging out back there um, behind Sleeping Beauty. Then I have this Be Our Guest candle. And this is by In the Wick of Time. Um, and this is probably one of my favorite candles because it smells delicious. It smells like blueberry cobbler. It's it honestly it just smells so good. If she still has this in the shop you should definitely definitely consider getting this one. Next I have a couple of bookmarks. Um, the first one is this wooden bookmark that I got from Ink and Wonder Designs. It says Tale as Old as Time and it has the enchanted rose there um, with a beautiful like watercolor explosion above it um, in like the colors of the Enchanted Rose. So that one's really pretty. And then I have a few from Nerdy Girl Designs on Etsy. Um, the first one says Be Our Guest and it has our entire cast of characters down there at the bottom. She also does like some of the ones that you can like that have like that are magnetic and fold over. Um, so I have this one which has Belle, um, the prince version of the beast, and um, uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip. And this one that has the Beast version of the Beast, Belle, uh, Lumiere, and Chip. So, oh, actually, that's the front of that card. And those are all the bookmarks that I have. And then finally, <laughs> I have saved the best for last. And this was also the last thing that I showed in my honeymoon haul. And it was the only thing that I was not able to fit in a suitcase. And I had to have shipped back to my apartment. Um, but I'm so deeply in love with it and I cannot wait to have a house one day and have this hung and displayed prominently somewhere. And that is this replica of the Beauty and the Beast um, stained glass window. And I am just so in love with this. I got this at Disney World in Orlando um, and I got it in the shop that is right by Gaston's Tavern. So if you're looking for it, I think that was the only shop that I actually saw this one in. Um, but it's so beautiful. I could cry. Like, I just love it so much. It breaks my heart that I can't display it where I currently am because there just isn't enough space for it. Um, but it's amazing. This was like, Disney just did such a good job with this. The one thing that I am so sad that I do not currently have anymore is when I was younger, I had this Beauty and the Beast mirror and you could hit a button and it would say different phrases and it would also show like 
a couple of the scenes, um, and I just have such fond memories of it. I'm like 99% sure that I got it from Beauty and the Beast Disney on Ice, um, but it was so, it was just like a hand mirror, and I remember, like, I will never forget hitting that button, and it says, like, show me the beast, and then he's like, I love you, and it's just so cute. Like, I will remember that mirror forever. That was probably one of my favorite childhood toys, um, so I really wish that I had that. I wonder, actually, maybe I'll, like, look on eBay and see if it's still around anywhere. It's probably a ton of money since it's from so long ago, but that was like a really special collectible to me. So also coming soon that unfortunately I didn't have to show in this video, but um, Raquel from the Melting Library did a Beauty and the Beast sampler set of candles for the month of March, and I subscribed to her like monthly subscription for them. So that should be coming at some point in March, but it's not here yet. Um, but I'm really excited to see those. So maybe I'll do an unboxing or something to show you guys what's in those. Um, and I can also show you what was in the Accord of Mist and Fury one. I can definitely see it expanding further um, because now that the live action film is coming out, I feel like there's so many more things that are coming out and like just the most random collaborations have been popping up. Like I saw, like granted it was gorgeous. They had this beautiful pot at Williams Sonoma and it was so like French and beautiful and had this rose on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally want to get this pot. And then it was like $280. And I was like, well, forget that. But I feel like there's just random collaborations popping up. So there's just like fun merchandise and I love Beauty and the Beast. So <laughs> anyway, don't forget to enter the giveaway to win 20 books from Disney Books. Again, insane. I'm so excited to be hosting that giveaway. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know some of your favorite things in my collection or let me know some of the things in your collections. Um, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.